So there's been a lot of debate among creationists as to whether humans and chimpanzees share 99% genetic similarity. And it all comes down to how you measure genetic similarity between organisms. Some methods actually give you 99% similarity, but some of them will actually give you lower percentage, as low as 80%. And I would argue two things as a creationist. One, I don't think it's a problem to say humans and chimpanzees are 99% related. We have some genetic similarities with all organisms. So I don't see it as a problem that we would have a lot of similarity with some organisms and less similarity with others. That's completely uh, compatible with a creation model where God has created organisms in varying degrees of similarity. And second, yes, I do think the best method to compare humans and chimpanzees is the one that gives you a 99% similarity. Because if you simply take the genomes of humans and chimpanzees and compare them nucleotide by nucleotide, you get a lower number. But single mutations can cause multiple nucleotides to change. So the best way to do it is to actually compare only protein coding uh, g sections of genome that are actually similar in humans and chimpanzees and only compare those. And in fact, when we do simple nucleotide to nucleotide comparisons that give us an 80% similar to the chimpanzees, those methods also give gorillas and other gorillas about an 80% similarity. And of course, they should be very high in the 99 percentile. Um, so it's not a problem to say humans and chimpanzees are 99% related. And in fact, that's the best methodology that we have available to us is the one that gives us that 99% number or 98%, depending on who you talk to. So I wouldn't be afraid of this as a creationist. And I would encourage you, if you're a creationist, not to be afraid of that number because it's pretty well grounded in reality. Thanks for checking this out. See you next time on the Creation Reformation YouTube channel.